Good morning, my stamping friends. It is Tammy with Stamp and Scrap Tammy. I am back with our Facebook Live, if you are watching live. Um, welcome, if you're watching the replay. This is being um, taped on April 7th, 2021. So welcome wherever, whenever you're watching. So thank you so much for joining me and thank you for being patient with me last week as I had to miss as I was not feeling well. But as you can see, I am back. Feeling so much better, still not 100%, but getting there. Um, I had hurt um, or pulled my sciatic nerve. So that was very painful. So um, all of you that have been through that, I, oh my goodness, I hope you um, recovered as quickly as I did. I was kind of worried there how long that was going to be, but feeling much better back at it. And I've got a fun card to share with you today, as well as some cool information that you might want to know about. So I'm just checking in, make sure, looks like we're all here. As you can see, oh, oh boy, okay. I'm not gonna stay here too long other than to make sure that we're here. Okay, and all right, so anyways, welcome, let's get to it. I've got a super fun card and um, I'm gonna share with you, it's something I've kind of been doing a few times now since the new year, is like the same layout, but numerous ways. So I'll share with you a few cards um, where I was, what inspired me, I guess, for the layout that I'm using today, and then kind of where it evolved into another card. Look at this. It kind of looks like a mess, I guess, when I look at it on screen, but I had to look up what the embossing folder I was using, and it is called the Painted Texture Embossing Flower, um, Folder, not Flower, but it's from the Fine Art Floral Suite, um, but that's not what I'm using today. I used that a few weeks ago for some beautiful cards for One Sheet Wonder, but today, look at this. I'm using the Ice Cream Corner um, collection. Now, the Sweet Ice Cream stamp set is on back order, but that does not mean you can't order it. You can still order this, and I would advise you to do it as soon as you, um, as soon as you can. Or it is an add-on for my upcoming Birthday Club class. So if you'd like to get in on Birthday Club, this is going to be one of the cards. You can do one month, or you can do it for six months in a row, and then you get a $25 product gift after um, your sixth month. And so this month, we are featuring, and the class is not until, let me see, it is going to be April 26th for the live portion for those locals, and it will ship out on April 28th, or by April 28th, no later then, for the mailed option for um, Birthday Club this month, and it's using the Ice Cream Corner collection. And so today's going to be a glimpse at one of the cards that we'll be making. I've got my supplies all here. So uh, this is the sheet of designer series paper I chose for today's cards. And of course, I'm using the stamp set. I love the happy birthday out of this um, stamp. It is beautiful. And that's actually, I'm, the, I'm just using the sentiments from the stamp set today. But there's a punch that coordinates very lovely with that. And then, of course, the designer series paper. Um, some really great um, designs on there. Both sides are great. You know, we got the ice cream on one side and a nice pattern on the other side. Okay, so let's set that aside for now. I don't think we'll need it again. And then, okay, so included in Birthday Club. What is included? Okay, we're going to do eight cards this month. Um, one's going to have to be a shaker because, and I, I walk you through that. Um, it's so easy to do. And so we're going to get a package of sprinkles, a ribbon, a full bolt of ribbon, and a half a package of the designer series paper, and then supplies for eight cards. So sign up for that is going to be in the email. And I will share it in the comments here after I edit it, after um, I'm through um, taping today. And so you'll be able to go back and sign up either through the email that goes out tomorrow or um, through the link when I edit this. All right, so half a package of paper, um, full bolt of ribbon, and the sprinkles. They're so cute. So let's get down to what we're doing today. Um, let's see, what else did I use today? The only other supply it looks like that I used, I did pull in um, one of the labels from this Stitch So Sweetly dies. This is my definite go-to um, dye labels that I like to use. All right, and now the other two cards I wanna share with you. Now, oh, the beloved butterfly paper. I do have a couple of these kits left I'll be posting for sale later in the month. I'm putting together some of my leftover class kits, so be, watch out for that. All right. So let's let's take a look here. This is the first card. This is where my idea originated to move to this one. And this card was gifted to me by my upline, Kay Kalkoff. And so then I evolved it to this one. And then today, let me show you. I came up with this one last night. I love the layout. I wanted to just go with it and use it again. And so now I switched it to the ice cream um, 
what is it called? Sweet ice cream. Sweet ice cream. Sweet. And then I evolved it into this card here. So I'll go over the measurements today. And I'm going to use this one for one of my tutorials too, um, for the weekly tutorials. But um, some great, great layouts that we have here today. And you'll probably see it again because I love it. All right. So it is looking like a bunch of you are watching. So do make sure for the next six weeks, we had a delay it a week because I wasn't here last week. For the next six weeks, we are doing a like, share, comment, win, um, a stamp set. So I have got six background stamp sets. I think I might have even said it was only five weeks, but I counted. I have six background stamp sets, brand new, ready to be mailed out the door um, to one winner each week for the next um, six weeks. And if you are watching the replay, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, it goes for there too. I add in the comments and the likes from over there as well. All right, so what I have here is Blackberry Bliss. It's a nice, vibrant color. And I have got this cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And we will go ahead and score that today. I will show you how to do that. I'm using my Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. It also can be a scoring board. Um, let's see, let's score that at four and a quarter. So I have got my scoring edge here. My cut edge is right, our blade is right below that. And let's do the other one because we are going to do two cards today. We'll see how quickly I do them today. I don't know. I got to get back to this. It was a little bit odd taking nearly a whole entire week off last week. I was not getting up and about until probably about when Wednesday, um, later Wednesday. I actually went and got my first COVID vaccine, so that was exciting. But I had to have my husband drive me. We went to Sleepy Eye, Minnesota, which is like an hour or so away from here. All right, so here is what I'm going to do. And this is, so I've already cut a piece off of here for the cards that I made. I'm going to cut this at three. So if you are following along and you want to make this card, cut your designer series paper of your choice at three inches by four and a half. And so one little strip here is gonna give me both of the cards that I'm making today. And let's go ahead and you'll see how lovely both sides of this paper are and how great they coordinate together. So now what happens here when I do this, I've got these, now I end up with this little square left over. So this is where um, I'm gonna make that second card because I ended up with this and I thought, well, I certainly cannot just throw out this square of beautiful paper, so what should I do with it? And that's where I'll show you for the second card. All right, so again, these were, so now I just ended up with a three by three square and I have got two um, three by four and a half um, pieces of designer series paper. All right, and so what are we doing next here? Let's go ahead and fold these. And so when you have it scored, you have the little bumpy part here where it bumps up. That's gonna be the outside of our card. So fold it in towards the, um, the indent, I guess. Um, it has been said to me, like you could imagine that this is your mountain and this is your valley. So you fold towards the valley. All right, and so here are my two card bases. Again, this is Blackberry Bliss. It is one of the coordinating colors that go with this collection. And that's what I did for this. I, Like I've said in the past, how do I come up with my color coordinations? I just trust what Stampin' Up! tells me. So I trust that if I'm gonna pull, let me pull this back in again, I guess. If I pull any of these colors from down here, they're gonna look great together. They haven't let me down yet. So that is exactly what I did. I was not sure what kind of colors were gonna look good with this. So I just pulled out my Bermuda Bay for my second color. And it worked out great. I was not sure, but again, I trusted that Stampin' Up! knew what they were doing when they told me that Bermuda Bay match Blackberry Bliss. I think it looks great once you pull it in with the designer series. And I just have a couple one inch strips here. And so look at this embossing folder. Isn't this pretty? And so this is called the Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. It is so nice. It looks like a painted wall or ceiling or something, you know, like with the texture on it. And so again, I have that in Bermuda Bay and I have got um, one in whisper, or not whisper white, ah, basic white. So we got a basic white, and that doesn't look like the right size. I think I did, I did one too small. Oh, good thing I have some extras here. Well, it looks like now I have to make another card with that size. All right, oh, it's not right. Well, unless this one is not. Oh, that's what it is. So this one is correct, this one is not. So we better bring in the paper trimmer again. 
So I didn't cut my Bermuda Bay down right. All right, so as you see, I'm a little bit a little bit rusty here. All right, so let's go ahead and cut that one down. That is where it should be. So this is at five, unless my base is wrong. See, this is like, what's going on here? Okay, so that's right. Where am I, where am I fumbling here? Unless it just looks wrong to me. Maybe it just looks wrong. I think it's just my eyes today. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Have a little more coffee, right? This is gonna work out just fine. All right, so here we go. We have the, again, painted texture 3D embossing folder. Great embossing folder. All right, and let's go ahead and find some pieces here. I hope I have them all. If not, we'll just cut some more. That's kind of the theme here, I guess, that I'm going for. All right, I do need one more. Okay, I guess I got too much going on here. So then as I'm cutting, I can tell you the measurements of the next layer. So we're going up a quarter of an inch. I thought I had them all cut. So I cut the designer series um, at four and a half by three. So then we just have to go four and three fourths. Let's go ahead and do that for our second one. Four and three fourths by three and a quarter. So you get to see a little cutting action today. A lot of times I have all of this done, but today I did not. I had, I guess I had bits and pieces of it ready, but that's what happens when you plan it the night before, right? I guess better than the morning of. I kind of slept in a little bit today. It was kind of nice. All right, and although, you know, I should have had enough sleep. I think I was sleeping like 18 hours a day last week. That was crazy. I've never slept that much. All right, so as you see, these papers coordinate so great together, um, and both sides are great, so I wanted to make a card with both, um, both patterns. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna adhere my um, ice cream cone one to my Blackberry Bliss, and then I'm gonna do sprinkles on the other one. So these cards are the same basic layout, but they're gonna turn out just slightly different by switching a background color. And then on the second card, I'm gonna add a cute little square with this side. So if you were watching from the beginning, I ended up with a three by three square left over after I cut the designer series. And so now I'm going to use the ice cream cone side Again, if you pull from one side to the other side of designer series paper, the flip side coordinates with the other side. So you know that you are going to have success with your stamping if you um, wanna use two different um, patterns together, just use the flip side. All right, so then that's gonna go right there with that one. So let's go ahead and get some Blackberry Bliss ribbon. Oh, how many of these do I have? I must've really been planning on making a lot of cards. All right, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna do my handy dandy little, um, let's see if I have my ribbon scissors. I don't know if I do, but I have a new one here. That one should be nice and sharp. And so what I'm gonna do here is just put this across my Bermuda Bay paper. And let's flip it to the other side. You could use a uh, glue dot. I do prefer to just use a piece of scotch tape or if you, use, if you have some old washi tape laying around, you could use that too. And we'll set that back to the side. I will pull that in one more time yet today. And I'm going to, see that is not right. Something is not right here. Something is not right in my world. Either that's off or I'm off. Who knows, but let's, we gotta trim that down. See, that was, how is that not right to me? Okay, so that needs to be five and a quarter. I hope this is right, because now it'd be too late to cut that. So it needs to be five and a quarter by four for our second layer. I knew something was not going right there. All right, that looks much better. So we're just a quarter of an inch down from our base. And let's adhere that as well. And I will press it down nice and firm so it's gonna stay on there for me. And then what I'm gonna do is get the rest of this card ready, but let's get this one ready too. So we'll do our stamping all at one time and then we'll tie some bows and just have a little bit of fun here. All right, so for this card here, what I'm gonna do is put my basic white to the base. I'm not gonna put the ribbon on this one. I'm gonna put the ribbon around my square for this card. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this other piece, the same cut and size as this other one here, and I'm gonna put it to the left side of the card. Oh, 
This is snapping. I must not have it in there tight. I just put a new one in there. All right, there we go. Let's go to the left side. And then next we're gonna work with our square. So what I'm gonna do with the square is this is where I'm gonna put my ribbon this time around. And um, no rhyme or reason, I guess I don't, I guess I don't really measure the size of my ribbon. I just put it on there like that, snip it off so I know it's gonna fit. I should really have my ribbon scissors here, but I don't. I don't know what I did with it. You know, I, it was so strange not being down here all week. And I had it relatively clean. And yesterday, the whole, I have a big counter behind me. It was all perfectly clean, like so clean. And now it's full again. <laughs> it just happens. I made two cards and now the counter's full again. But I'm getting packets ready. So if you're still waiting on something from me, likely it's going out this week yet. So I got most of the stuff out at the end of last week when I started feeling better. Um, but I have a couple more things left to do yet. All right, and so that's what I was kind of working on was um, some packets and things. All right, so here we go. And what else do we have to talk about? Well, oh, it was my birthday last week. So thank you all so much for all the birthday wishes on Friday. It was such a lovely day. Um, I was starting to feel better, and my mom came over, and she helped me um, do up some card kits for a retreat that's this weekend. That I um, It's a fundraiser that I just help with. So it's not my spring retreat. My spring retreat is coming up the end of the month. It is April 29th through May 2nd is the live option. There's about four spots left for that. I'm gonna use my um, Stampin' Dimensionals. And since I'm on a darker color, I have the black ones here. Um, so anyways, retreat, end of the month, four, four spots left for the live, like full weekend. You can come, Thursday is an option. Um, but Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then there's a one day option where you come just Saturday or there's a mailed option to get the whole kit and caboodle mailed to you. And we are going to be using some of this stuff in that retreat. But anyway, so registration for that, I'm emailing that out to everybody at, I believe, noon today. So um, if you haven't had a chance to look that over, um, for sure, take a look at it. We would love to have you join us. So this one I put up on dimensionals. And... Let's do that for this one as well, as long as we've got them here. And so Spring Retreat 2021, end of the month. And so sign up ends on Monday. So um, I would love for as many of you to join us as you uh, as possible. Um, it's a lots of fun. Uh, we had a great time the last time. And if you're not able to join us, still look over the information and possibly for one of our upcoming ones, you'll be able to either join us live or get the retreat in a box with all the goodies. Um, includes three classes. Let me show you real quick. So this is, this was an add-on option for the one this weekend, but this um, option, this is my 12 by 12 sampler using the Dandy Wishes stuff. This is included in the retreat. So this is part of the retreat. In addition to two other full classes, um, three pillow gifts, a bag, the whole the whole bit, and some games and things like that too. So anyways, a little bit about that. All right, and so we've got that up on dimensionals. Now we should probably do some stamping and some bow tying to finish this off. I have got a one by uh, three and a quarter inch strip of white. This was just a leftover piece of white that I had that I trimmed down. So one inch by um, three and a quarter is what I've got going on there. I would like to get a stamp and pierce mat because it is a photopolymer stamp. Let's see where I've got those hidden. All right, oh, as you can see, this is a very loved stamp and pierce mat here. It has seen some attention, that is for sure. All right, and so let's go ahead with Blackberry Bliss and I'm gonna grab the large happy birthday. I mean, it's not like super large, but um, it is just a nice happy birthday. Th this stamp is just beautiful. I love it. I love the script on this one. It's like the perfect size. And I did grab the, um, I wanna put that on there a little bit better. I'm not quite straight here. I'm thinking about it too much. There we go. All right, so I have grabbed for the inside with sprinkles on top for the inside sentiment. These are perfect cards um, to give a, a kid or, um, you know, like a teenager. I thought they were really cute. And who does not like ice cream? So I was thinking about that. So I was starting to think for the retreat, like what am I gonna do for food? Well, if we're using the ice cream stuff, of course, we're probably gonna have to have an ice cream sundae bar. Doesn't that sound fun? All right, and so I have got Blackberry Bliss ink. I'm just very gently tapping on 
my ink pad to get a nice even, but I'm trying to avoid getting ink everywhere. And now I'll go ni a nice straight up, straight down. And real light, I'm not pushing on this real hard. And let's just go ahead, see it's stuck on there, no problem. We're just gonna tap it off of there and look at how perfect that is. And it's real dark now and it's gonna lighten up a little bit. So let's just set that to the side. And we're doing the same thing here. So these measurements, two separate cards, but basically all the same supplies, except for we're adding that square in. And you could make these in all different kinds of designer series papers, all different kinds of stamps, um, occasions. You know, it does not have to be this one that I'm making today. So this is what I talked about a few weeks ago, if I'm remembering right. I'm, I Sometimes I forget what I talk about, but I believe I also um, talked about this a few weeks ago, is this is just like a really good foundation card. So if you have some really good um, lit card layouts, like go-to layouts that you can use at any time. It really helps when you're designing. If you're thinking, gosh, what am I going to do? You know what? I have no idea what to do. Just break out one of these other layouts, get some new paper, get some new embellishments, ribbons, and you are set to go with a brand new card. It looks totally different. You would never know that the card layout that I use today was the same one that I used, you know, last week and two weeks ago for the other cards that I made in classes. All right, let's add a whisk sprinkles on top to the inside of this one. And right here, let's do it again. Oh, so gosh, see, sidetracked again. I was starting to talk about my birthday. I was starting to feel better, but thank you all so much for the um, well wishes for not only my birthday, but um, for feeling better last week. But I got so many cute cards in the mail last week that I need to do a little show and share and of those birthday cards. And so it's been a while since I did a second like show and share. And because I missed last week and was feeling under the weather, I wasn't able to really dig into that retirement list with all of you. So I am going to do that. Let me think, when was I gonna do that? It was either gonna be tomorrow or Friday. So let's see, let me just plan it right now. Let's go with tomorrow. So let's meet back here if you're able or on a replay. Um, tomorrow at, oh gosh, I don't know what time, what time do you guys think will work? I'm thinking probably the morning again. So I'll let you know in the morning. I don't know what time. Let's, let's just say tomorrow time to be announced when I wake up. So then, then I can see what I'm feeling like in the morning and I can decide if I want to do it at nine o'clock or if I'm going to do it at 11 or in the afternoon. But um, it'll be sometime tomorrow during the day. I'll dig out all of them. I have them in a stack. Oh gosh, they're so pretty. Oh my goodness, the cards that you sent are amazing and a few cute little gifts too. And so I truly appreciate it. And, and um, it really brightened my day since I hadn't been feeling well. So I do want to share all those with you as well as kind of just brush over the retirement list um, because there's some incredible deals there. All right, so look at that. Look at how nice that works together. Oh, those colors work so great. And so next I did add, just to add a little... I don't know, extra little fun. I added a Bermuda Bay label. So something I like to do, since I added the Bermuda Bay in uh, down here for this color, I like to add it one more time. So I like to have a color in a card at least two times. It's, I mean, you know, maybe not always, but kind of as a rule of thumb, that's what I, I tend to go with. So to add in that color one more time, I just added one of these labels um, from the Stitch So Sweetly dies to the center of this card. And then I'm gonna put the sentiment over the top of that with some dimensionals. And then we'll tie a nice cute little petite bow after we put this on. We'll tie those bows together at the end here. And again, let's, let's go over that for those that joined in later. This is the first week of our six weeks of stamp set giveaways. So if you'd like to get entered for those, you just got to like, share, comment, um, you know, tell me what you think about today's cards or for that matter, the cards for the next um, six weeks. And so what I'm going to do, so we're going to have one winner and then I'm going to put all of your names into a drawing. And after the six weeks, um, I don't know when that's going to fall. Let me look at my calendar right now. That'll be, looks like it'll be into May. So we will be into the new catalog. And so I'm going to combine like all of the likes and the shares and things for the next six weeks. And then when I do my catalog launch event, I will have one big drawing and we will, I got to pull this off of there. See, it was chatting and I forgot that that's not what I want to do. Not what I want to do at all. 
and um, and I'll, sh I'll tell you why. Um, but then I have got a mini stamp and cut emboss machine. Yeah, I do. I have a mini one that I need to give away because I already have one. So um, participate in the stamp and scrap community for the next month. And you're going to love it that you're going to keep participating and you will get entered in for the mini stamp and cut emboss machine. So exciting. All right. And so let's, I just want dimensionals. Let's make sure I put them on the right side. I just want them on here because remember we put this up on dimensionals. And so now I want it to lay nice and flat here. So I'm just putting dimensionals over here. I want to leave that spot open for a little bow. And let's go ahead. So then on this part, I'm just going to put regular adhesive and a dimensional on the left. See, so then it's going to just lean up against that. Two adorable little bows is all we need. And I want really nice little petite bows today. So this might require me to find my ribbon scissors, which was right where I keep it. If I would have just looked before. Let's move all this other stuff out of the way so that you just get a nice view of these adorable cards. I could bring in the other two that I have while we are finishing here. And so I guess, I don't know, which card do you like better? Do we like the left or the right? Or maybe it's a tie, I don't know. I don't know if I could decide on one, on just one. So maybe I'll have to make like 10, I don't know. And then maybe after that I would decide, or maybe in some other colors. And so let's snip. I want to snippity do this off. Wow, that was a weird word to use. All right, and let's just go ahead and tie a nice petite little bow. And oh my goodness, ladies, I had people message me after the retirement list came out. My polka dot tool ribbon is, is not going to be a thing anymore. Can you believe that? Oh my gosh. It was like a moment of silence for the polka dot tool ribbon. I think you can still order it. And it was on sale. I was like, you know, like they must have a lot of it. So then they put it on sale and I'm like, are you kidding? My favorite ribbon is on sale. Um, so I ordered like 10 of them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I ordered them, you know, just like as a safety net in case like someday I'm like really missing them. Um, and I just can't find that perfect, perfect ribbon. Um, I'm going to have my polka dot tool as a backup. A 10 was probably a bit excessive, but, um, you know, you just never know when you like something, you got to get a lot of it. And so with, keep that in mind. If there's something that you'd want, get it sooner rather than later because things are selling out. Look at that cute little ribbon. All right, let's push my little scraps out of the way and we'll do the same thing here. And we do have these beautiful sprinkles. I can add a couple of those on. Look at that. I probably should not leave them open like that. That's probably very dangerous. That is a dangerous endeavor that I am trying here. Or just messy, maybe not dangerous, messy. It could get messy. All right, but then I, I wonder if my little vacuum cleaner would clean that up. Although I wouldn't wanna waste all those. So as you see here, that one didn't work out. Let's go ahead and do that again. So you can always have an opportunity to do over if your bow isn't tying like you want it to. I want it to be nice and flat like that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually scrunch it pretty tight so it's not really gonna matter too much. So as you see, as it wants to flip as I tighten it, so then I'm just going back over. I'm like, no, you're not gonna do that. And I flip it back that way. So I'm just, um, you know, it helps if you talk to your ribbon. I, I found that to be successful. I don't know if that's true. I just made that up. Um, all right, so see, it looks really great. And so I'm gonna snip that down pretty small. And we're gonna attach it with a glue dot. And that's where I need to find a take a pick tool. I didn't plan on putting any of those um, sprinkles on, but I think I should. I mean, it's been a week since we've been here, two weeks since we've been together for a video. So why not just make this last a little longer today and add a few sprinkles? I'm gonna take some glue dots here is what I'm gonna use. So first I'm gonna take a glue dot and I'm gonna put this ribbon kind of in an unlikely way. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna go this direction. So it's like sideways. That's kind of a fun, fun way to do it. And then I'm gonna do the same on here. And we're gonna go the other direction. And you could put this however you want. So if this isn't your style and you wanna put your ribbon down here, go for it. You put that ribbon wherever you would like. 
but I'm gonna put it right here. And you know, just having that little sneak of the ribbon on the other side tied around is um, perfect. I like having that extra little, little tiny touch that you barely see, but if it's not there, it would, you know, it would still look fine, but I just think it just adds one more little element of dimension. So I love doing that. All right, and so let's go ahead and I need the other side. So it's nice to have two take a pick tools because I've got my poke end on here and then I've got my stylus on this one and I have a putty end on both of them. So let's go ahead and I want the one with the poke end to start. So I'm gonna put, I don't know how many of these I'm gonna put. So I'm first I'm gonna put my glue dot in place. Let's do three here and so this little thing of if you're not going to make shaker cards this little thing of sprinkles is going to last you a long time because there is like I don't know probably thousands in there and let's do the same thing here let's do three on this one I'll just do it on the two cards and let's do the same thing let's do five on each card I like to work in odd numbers when adding embellishments so three, five, seven, I mean, go for it. Go with nine, 11, however many you want. And so then this is, I haven't tried it with this, but this is how I've done it in the past with sequins. The putty end of your take a pick tool works out real handy when you wanna grab something real small out of an embellishment cup like so. And so then I can go ahead and just push it down in place. Let's hope that's gonna stay. There we go. My putty end is very sticky today, which is wonderful. That's exactly what we want. And so it allows me to pick out the colors really quite easily. And let's go ahead, I grab that one, and I'm just placing it right on top of the glue dot. What color don't we have yet? Blue, I believe that is the pool party. Oh, and I grabbed a purple posy. Oh, let's have a moment of silence too for Purple Posy. Purple Posy, I believe the blends markers are still available but are on back order. The Purple Posy paper cardstock is no longer available. Um, that is sold out. So that's just kind of a test to, uh, you know, if there's something that you like, uh, make sure you get it. I believe that the Seaside Spray is also sold out. Um, but there's some really fun new ink colors coming. So. Um, don't be too sad for too long. All right, look at that. So beautiful. I don't know if anyone decided which card they like better. Oh, I need one more. I just talk and talking about like an odd, odd numbers and I only put one there. Now you could also adhere these with a touch of the liquid glue would work too if um, you don't like the way the glue dot works there. So how, look at how beautiful those are. I like them both equally. I don't know that I could pick one over the other. So thank you all so much for joining. Again, what did I decide? I gotta remember what I decided, that I'm gonna do a Facebook Live. So if tomorrow morning you don't see me post, that I am gonna do a Facebook Live to show and share all my little birthday cards and fun little things that I got, as well as talk more about the retirement list and events that I have coming up and just a kind of an informal question and answer. So if you have any questions that you are just dying to know the answer to that maybe I have the answer, I don't know, maybe I do, maybe I don't, um, go ahead and you can ask it here and I can cover it tomorrow. Um, or just um, tune in and I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm like playing musical cards to see which ones I like the best, but I like them both. I like them like this so I can see them in a little grid. All right, everybody, I'm gonna leave it there before I um, really get crazy here. That way we have something to talk about tomorrow. But again, watch your email today um, for the retreat information. I, You know what, I'll post it here on Facebook as well a little later today and well as information on this birthday class because look at how cute these are. Who wouldn't want to make those? All right, everybody, we will hopefully see you back here tomorrow for the Sharon Show to show off my birthday cards and to talk retirement list. All right, everybody, have a great day. It was so great to be back with you today. See you later.